really excited to try the new Craft Haven origami paper. You can see here it's a little bit smaller than what we're used to. Um, this is the stuff we buy at Michael's um, and this is the new paper, which means it's probably going to be really ideal for some of these cute little charms that we've never been successful at making. So we're going to try that out. Other than that, of course, my son highly recommends the Tom Engelberger books for <laughs> Star Wars characters in origami. So here we go. We're going to open this up and try it out. Went through all of the papers and out of the entire 500 set, I found these two, this one, and this one has just the slightest fold on it. So those four are going to be just little, like if you need to tear off a piece to make a shape, papers. All the rest were in pristine condition. And some of these, you know, are double-sided paper and some are single-sided paper. You can do Yoda? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, hi, Stephen Harmon, the Wookiee. <laughs> we'll fold Yoda while she's done. No, I'm done. Keep going. <coughs> I want the camera directly on Yoda, so once you're done. Okay, well I'm going to go really slow, so have at it. Green paper. Hold up the white side of this one-sided green paper. So you do want one-sided, right? Yes. You don't want the double? Okay. <coughs> Otherwise his robe would be green as well. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm making him on the white robe because they didn't have green and brown. Mm-hmm. So, fold it over for about an inch on on the white side so it looks something like this. Let me get a decent fold let me get a decent crease. That will eventually be his face. <coughs> and I'm doing this by memory by the way. By memory. Now take these corners and fold them to the very bottom of the green part like this. Hold on. Like this. And then do that on the other side. There. Both corners folded. Now go to the green side <coughs> and do and take take these flaps you just folded forward and fold them backwards on the same exact fold. See, you can you can't really see, but you know they're there. Then you take them up, stick them straight up, and here's what I think a reverse fold is. I could be wrong though. Take the corner you just folded, inside and outside, and put it inside of it so it looks something like this. See? Let me let me go over it again. Take this, push it inside so that there's an extra flap. The corner, push it inside. Take that. <coughs> Do that on both sides. So that it look like this. And uh, facing this side, lay it down flat as you can. And uh, fold this. I just like to use where this cuts off as a marking point, but fold the bottom up to that marking point. Let me get that gross. Let me get that crease, get that crease, get that crease. Hey, 
So it should look something like this. Hold it up. Hold it up to about right here. Then you fold it down however far, you take that one fold you just did and fold it down however far you like. But just make sure there is a pleat there. And a pleat is like a paper zigzag. Should look something like this. <coughs> Complete paper zigzag. And then tighten that. Now, once you have that, fold outward so that the robe so that the robe is white, like this. You can take the green side and fold it so there's white on it, like this. Fold it to the center. And do that on both sides. Make sure it stays even with the bottom though. It wouldn't do to have little uh, bits of paper poking out here and there. Make it look on neat. <coughs> <coughs> so I've done the robe with, on one side. Now remember that inside fold we did when we pushed the corner into itself? Take that and bring it out a little so that in the crease it wherever it needs to be creased so that it makes a little ear, one of Yoda's ears. Fold the other side of the robe and do the same thing on that and do the same thing there. <coughs> it should look something like this. Then you just fold the then you just fold it down so that it looks like he has an actual face or could have an actual face or well you know what I'm trying to say you do right <laughs> please tell me you do if you don't then yeah you should be watching this so um I've got his face folded down. Now, just because I want it to look old like Yoda, I like to uh, fold it back up and just crumple it a little. On crumple and uh, just crumple, 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 crumple. One day, when you get old yourself, you're gonna sympathize with Yoda and you're not gonna crumple him. <laughs> yeah, but you know, he's supposed to look like this. I know. I'm just like, what? You're making wrinkles? We're trying to... We older women are trying to get rid of those. Yes, but... Okay, so I'm Yoda. still trying to figure out my turtle. I'm having a hard time figuring out so these So then you've got that. Oh, in another origami tip, you remember that pleat we made earlier? Well, it caused this to happen in the robe. So take both parts of the robe and fold one little area into the other to lock to kind of lock them together and increase pupability. And then just take a pencil <coughs> or a pen in my case and draw the face. You can stick it in the pleat if it was bigger, like not the pleat, the little pleat we made if it was bigger, but um, it's pretty small so I just like to stick it inside the robe to make it like the finger is the body. Good job. Go ahead, do Yoda voice. See if you can do it like your daddy. Your daddy's no. really good. No. Green I am. What the <laughs> is that? Not Yoda, clearly. 